there still remains some uncertainty as to when high school sports will begin again. Similar to current high school athletes, some former Needham High School student athletes saw their collegiate careers cut short prematurely this past spring, or their upcoming seasons this year called into question. Several college football leagues decided they will play this fall, including the Atlantic Coast Conference. One of the ACC's member schools is Duke University, which former Needham football star Matt Smith now calls home. Sports producer Chris Dugan recently chatted with Smith to learn what summer was like for him and how he is balancing being a student athlete during the COVID-19 pandemic. I know usually, usually the football guys, I was gonna say, stay there at least sometime in the summer. Did you come home at all, spring, summer at all? And I guess, you know, what did you do? Were you able to work out at all? I know everything a lot was closed up here, so. Um, so basically our spring break started March 6th, I think. And so I had just had a flight home anyways. Actually flew, flew home with a, uh, another tight end on the team that's from Lemonster, actually. And oh, I was only supposed to be home until, like, March 15th. And so I, I had, like, my week and a half, you know, I was ready to get back. And it was, like, one or two days before my flight was supposed to leave, we started hearing, like, a lot of talks about, you know, be prepared to come back a week later, actually. like. Um, we're going to need some time to, to figure everything out with COVID. Like, and at that time, everyone, nobody had really, um, like, looked into it that much. So we were all, I was like, okay, I'll be back in a week then. And then slowly, as it continued to progress, I was like, I'd say probably late March. I was – because I was still in, in Needham because I didn't, I didn't really have anywhere to go down to in North Carolina. So I, would, I pretty much stayed – in Needham from March 6th until July 12th. And in terms of like working out the first, um, I would say month to month and a half, you know, everything was really limited. I couldn't really get out of the house that much. Um, so, I mean, I went on a lot of runs. I went to the field a lot. I did a lot of stuff uh, in the basement, just a lot of body weight type stuff. And then as every, as like restrictions and stuff got like lifted, I started lifting at, um, Charlie Ogletree's basement, like, um, literally for like a month, just me and him and my older brother down there, just trying to, like, we, we wore masks and stuff, but it was just like, I was just trying to get any work in that I could pretty much through like, I'd say mid June. And then when everything started to like get not normal, but like a little less strict, I started going to this place called EPS, which is normally in Foxborough, which is where I, I trained and worked out all of high school. So it was like really, it was like 10 person lift groups and we were all spaced out. So I got, I got like a good like month and a half in of that, just really low key, like spaced out, like masked, all that stuff. And it was, it was, you know, I was very thankful to get into that spot because that helped me a lot with like the conditioning and stuff coming back to here. Cause we didn't have a lot of time to, prepare when we got here for the conditioning so like if I wasn't able to go there I would have been in a lot worse shape than I was when I came back <laughs> has there been a difference in terms of balance you know bouncing stuff obviously again everything's kind of you know half whether yeah. it's in person out of person like is there a difference at all for you that you feel in balancing stuff or do you feel like you have a good kind of handle on it I mean personally I feel like just because I've been here for for two years now like if this had happened my my freshman year, I think my head would be spinning. Like I feel, I feel bad. I have a, a bunch of freshman buddies that I talk to about this a lot with, you know, I genuinely feel bad that this is how they've had to start off college because, you know, and I've told them, you know, if I didn't get the like acclimation period, like in person that they missed out on, I would have started off my year like a lot <laughs> less prepared. And I mean, in terms of like school, like we, it wasn't that much of an adjustment really because, um, you know, when I came back here, I was kind of just ready to get everything, everything started. Cause I had been home for, for four months, four and a half months. And I was just ready to honestly get back. And, you know, we had had pretty busy days with lifting meetings and all that. So it almost felt like a, like already school year type schedule. And then when we got to, to camp, you know, the days were honestly longer than I'm having right now. 
so transitioning class into that honestly wasn't wasn't really that that difficult for me and you know it's I've been able to to manage all that pretty well I feel like 